We're back, everybody, with another episode of very, very hot chili peppers, potentially. And these were sent by Matt. So, Matt. Matt. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. We have uh, 73 peppers to get through. We've gone through six already. So now we're down to 67. We're so close to the end. <laughs> All right. Let's the, go. <laughs> the theme today, the theme today is uh, weird looking ones. So we're going to do uh, some weird ones and some not so weird ones. Okay. Let's do it. Let's Set your timer. Much. We're going to do this rapid succession, see if we can get through six of them. Yes. All Ready? Right. What, Set? what are we doing first? Sugar Rush sounds innocuous. Let's do that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so we're going to start with the Sugar Rush. It is sweet. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I really love it like sweet pepper. I have no getting any heat. Tastes That's like really a red good. bell pepper, but sweeter. I have, I have a bit of a sweet tooth. Yeah. So I like that kind of. Uh, yeah, I would. I would buy those. I would use those and things. One out of ten for heat for me. You've got a zero out of ten. You're detecting some. No heat. Zero out of ten. Okay, so it's got like a little bit, but not a whole lot. It's totally suitable for um, cutting it up to put in a salad or in a sandwich or something. To eat it raw would be totally fine. Um, yeah, let's move on. It's good. Bird ahi. These ones uh, are small. They're wrinkly. Squishy. Squishy. They're like very loose, sort of uh, like a squash berry. But that could yeah. also be because they arrived in it. They came in an envelope, so it might have uh, affected a little bit, but very, very tiny. Uh, not especially cool looking, but we'll get there. You ready? Go. It's more like a berry. Uh-huh. Like a currant. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know what kind of currant. Not a black currant. Like, not very tart or anything. It's like a little bit like a red currant. Yeah. But also there's like a little bit of, um... I want to say like a... Such a, like... Watermelon candy. Yeah, getting that. But it's not. It's not as sweet as any of those things. No. Uh, a little but, sweet. Yeah. I uh, not really much to say about it. Honestly, it's. It's good. It was, it's, it's good. It's it's, it's, it's. it's not. Yeah, it's not a bad thing by any measure. But it's certainly not a hot pepper, and it's not. I couldn't see myself sitting and eating a lot of them because of the seeds. I think that it would go well in a jam. Uh, if you were that would be a, good in a jam. A, a spicy jam or something. I'm getting a little bit of heat on that. Uh, I'm getting like a 1 out of 10, though. Very mild heat, but there is a little bit of burn that I'm getting. Uh, I'm feeling some heat and some, like, illness in my stomach, but I think that's from sitting here and doing uh, two episodes in a row. The actual heat on that, totally tolerable. Would be good used in um, a sweet application. But I think what you're right. Probably the best bet for that is to use a jam. Um, yeah. Shall we move on? Yes. Alright, this one looks really cool, and it uh, has a cool name. It sounds like a superhero. Yep, Scarlet Lantern. Yeah. It's like Green Lanterns, like... Red Buddies. I think they're just called yeah. Red Lanterns in the comic, but I don't know, because I don't read Green Lantern. Uh... <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> oh. Very, very fruity. Pizza. Okay, so you said very bitter. I said very fruity. Those are not mutually exclusive things. I feel like there is a fruit-like quality Ooh. to it. There's no real sweetness. I'm just getting real bitterness, but there is that sort of uh, fruity aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It's like a habanero kind of fruitiness, like apricot -y. Yeah. We get that a lot with a lot of these <clears throat> that, uh, yeah, apricot flavor. The heat on that is like a slow build, but I'm getting it. It's not that hot, but I have a feeling like if you were to like eat that entire thing, it would ruin your day. A little slice that I got, I'm getting like... A little warmth. Yeah, but it's like that bitter kind of warmth. It's not like a jalapeno heat. Yeah. It's probably on the same level, like a 2 out of 10 right now, but I think like if you were to eat that entire thing, it would it would be probably climb that scale. Right. 
which I'm not going to do because we're going through six peppers today. But I would say, I would say that's going to be probably a lot hotter than a two if you were to utilize the whole thing. I like I like we've been here before. <laughs> mm, we have been here. Um, uh, I need. Do you have anything else to say about it? It is a great looking pepper. I I mean, it's I like the freaky alien looking ones. Yep. Yeah. It's cool looking. Tastes <laughs> decent. Uh, good heat. All around a good pepper. Definitely a, a cool one to um, to try. Uh, let's do this little one here. Uh, is this another one with a long name and number, a uh, uh, long uh, alphanumerical title? Yes, this is the PI543208. What do you have to say to that? <laughs> I I mean, I, I just, I'm always leery of things that have been given a serial number instead of a name. Yeah. Um, you just... I, it just conjures up images of people in white coats playing God. Yeah, and this so. <laughs> definitely what happened here. Like, somebody just was trying to create something that would hurt you. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even give it a name yet. No, because it killed them before they Everybody, got to Everybody, maybe they tried it on and died. <laughs> Sour. Yeah, I like that, actually. Sour and bitter. Mm. But I like it. Yeah. It's alright. There's an acidity to the flavor that I like. Mm-hmm. It's tart. Mm -hmm. Tart little punch. But mm -hmm. heat. I don't think I've ever had anything like that. I don't taste any heat, do you? No. It's almost like vinegary. Mm -hmm. It's like a different... It's not like citrus sour. It's like a different type of sourness. Yeah. You know, you get a lot of these and they, they, they taste like grass or apricot or raspberries. And you're like, okay, these are the same like set of flavors. But this one... Those crazy scientists, they uh, yeah, they made something different uh, when they were making the PI five four three two zero eight. I think that's a B. No, that's an A. No, that's an A. Okay. That's an a. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's all there is to say about that one. There was not a lot to it, but it was pretty good. Heat scale though. Any heat? I'm getting none. Like one, but I'm guessing that's probably transfers from the knife. So I'd say it's probably a zero. Let's move on to this uh, West Indies Red. This is a big lumpy one. Big lumpy. It looks like it might be uh, like the habanero. Oh, why don't you take the one with the seeds? Thanks, Jared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take a couple of seeds too. Smells exactly like the last one. Okay. Maybe a little fruitier. Kind of bland, to be honest. Sweet. Yeah. Bitter. It's a little sweet. A tiny bit bitter, but... Yeah, but there's no, not a lot of flavor. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I don't really like that. Sugar, bitter, but the actual, like, the apricot, berry, cherry, bell pepper that we usually would get, this doesn't really have really a strong flavor besides those notes of heat. There is a little warmth. Uh, yeah, I'm even, uh, yeah, I'm getting... Yeah, heat, something. heat, bitter, sugar, but not much flavor. Yeah. It's kind of just... I mean, I guess that's good if you want something that doesn't have much flavor. You don't want to add anything to something except uh, a little bit of heat. That's probably good, but if you want something to have uh, more complexity, you wouldn't want this thing. Yeah, there are better peppers. Uh, yeah. What would you give it on heat? Uh, you know, it's actually getting warmer as we talk, so maybe a three. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting much. I'm getting like a one, maybe a two. So let's call it, let's give it a two uh, as an average. Oh, it's another scary number. PI281317. It looks a lot like the, the Scarlet Lantern that we had, but it has this really bizarre shape to it. It's got like this very alien little... Yeah, it's like long, but it has like this equator. Yeah, it's grassy again. Yep. Grassy, green peppers, that the 
sort of family flavors. I wonder if that one's not right. Well, there's, there's another red one red. next to it that is bright red. Uh, that's from the same plant. So we could try a slice of this as well. We're trying a riper version of it. We think. That is more flavorful. Tastes better. It's like cherry <clears throat> candy. I wonder if that grassy flavor just means it's not ripe. Could be. Yeah, I think there's some of them at least. Um, the flavor on that's pretty good. There's just no heat. Uh, yeah, it's, little, it's not bad. Yeah, sweet cherry candy. It's got like a little bit of a beany taste to it, I think. Like a little bit of like a garbanzo bean. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> not mad excited about it, to be honest. No. Uh, no. It's that's a sort of... Two minutes. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Uh, you can keep talking if you've got something to say. I don't really have anything else to say about <coughs> it. Uh, anything else to say about that particular one? No. I mean, it, it looked pretty cool. Uh, Looks cool. I, I, you know, when people say this is an ornamental pepper, they always hold up just an average sort of what you would draw if you were drawing a red pepper. Yeah. Uh, but if I were going to use any kind of peppers for ornamentation, they'd be these ones that look like the Green Goblin's nose. Yeah, they look really cool. Uh, the flavor on that one is not remarkable, but looks cool. The uh, Scarlet Lantern is probably like one that looks similar to that, where it's got a cool varieg uh, variegated look to it and everything. But this one actually tastes good, too. Yeah, yeah. So I'd say that's probably a better one. It doesn't have like as weird of a shape, but good taste for the good look. Yeah, I'd say my favorite is probably the, the Sugar Rush, as far as my memory goes. Maybe the Scarlet Lantern, just because it looks so cool. I would agree on the Sugar Rush. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Good ones. Thanks again to Matt for sending these to me. Check out his website, uh, mattspeppers.com, and we will see you next time. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, is how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.